Hello everybody, Josh here with Speedway Motors. Uh, shooting a little video in the garage today to show some of the things that I've been working on. Uh, we're on day 600 of quarantine or something. Hopefully that joke holds up over a few years and we're really only in this for another couple of weeks. So uh, just sitting at home here and working on a couple of things and working on uh, some of our Speedway work on the computer at home. So sharing some video and uh, projects and pictures of some of the cars we've been working on. Again, this whole idea was just to kind of share some of the things that we've been working on as well as seeing a lot of the things that you guys are working on all of our customers out there. So uh, feel free to share and uh, we'll take a look around. So this is what we've been working on here lately. This was a new project that I picked up. Uh, I'll scoot back a little bit more, but this is a 67 Pontiac Firebird. Uh, I got it uh, October of last year of 19 here. Um, it was a family friend's car, um, had all the uh, subframe engine transmission front fenders hood grill everything off the car and separate from the car the interior was kind of there uh, had been painted 10 or 15 years ago it was a nice restored car uh, and they had took it apart to do an ls swap and never ended up getting a chance to finish it so um, i went up there and picked it up and put a lot of it together and that's what i've been working on over the winter here in the garage um, it's got a pontiac 350 engine in it now a four-speed car Originally it was a six cylinder automatic, um, but been switched over at some point in its life to get the four speed. So put new carpet in, all the wiring was in the trunk, most of the dash was in the trunk. So uh, did quite a bit of interior work, which was new to me on that. Haven't really messed with that much in my life, but ended up working out pretty well. Um, new carpet there that we ordered through Speedway. And mainly most of my work was under the hood here. Um, we ended up, switch hands, I'm doing quite a bit of work under here. I, uh, took the engine subframe out. Uh, painted up all the engine, new headers, new hooker headers, um, painted all the inner fender wells, frame rails, uh, control arms, new ball joints in the control arms. I switched it over to power disc brakes, um, put the Speedway G-Comp two inch drop spindles on there as well as a uh, new drilled and slotted disc brake kit, uh, new alternator, a bunch of stuff like that. So it says 400 on there, it says 400 on the hood. Unfortunately, it's a 72 Pontiac 350, which was about the lowest compression <laughs> of year for any Pontiac V8, so that was pretty neat, but whatever, it's somewhere between a 350 and 400, I say. So, pretty straight, clean old car. It's got plenty of little bumps and bruises from being painted so long ago and then being disassembled for so long. So, it's uh, definitely a 10 footer car, but it's a, gonna be a fun one and, and something I should be able to just get in and cruise and enjoy it, so. Um, other projects, this is another project here. This is uh, my 1950 Chevy pickup. Um, that I've been working on for over a decade easily. Uh, this was my dad's uh, 30th birthday present to himself. He bought it for himself. And uh, I got a hold of it when I was in, in my mid to early 20s and uh, started kind of cutting it apart and doing some stuff with it. So um, it's got a Nova front subframe clipped onto it right here. Uh, right there is where we clip that on. It's got a 305 um, out of a, about a 91 Pontiac Firebird uh, T5 transmission. And then we switched over the front to airbag, switched over the rear to airbag. It's got the same kind of 78 Monte Carlo um, rear axle as the front clips from. Air ride on the back here, did a C notch right over here. And then we did kind of a custom four link with uh, some tubular swedge tubes there. And thing looks like it's gonna ride and handle pretty well. It's a pretty well sorted chassis. I'm just trying to get all the body work figured out and done to where I can get it all thrown on there. Uh, this one's gonna be kind of a flat satin, a similar blue color that it is now. Um, just wanted to get some good body work done and um, have a good smooth flat car. Um, roof has been chopped on this one. Oops, let's go over here. There's Maggie the dog, chopped dog. This is the cab. Uh, did a whole lot of sheet metal work on this last fall. Uh, replaced this whole cowl in here. 
Um, the floorboard all the way across the front, this kind of angles the floorboard back to the underside. That inner cowl patch um, right in there and um, did all the cabin corners on that. So quite a bit of uh, rust repair in this one, but you know, being dad's truck, that's the only one you get to work on. You don't get to find one that's less rusty, that's cheating. So this was uh, about how much we chopped out of the roof here. This is the A-pillar, um, about two inches came out right here. So right here, sorry. Got that all blended back in there pretty well. And uh, the roof had to get cut kind of several different ways. The roof still has a lot to be desired as far as getting smoothed out the way I'd like it. But uh, right here, you can see where my fingers have traced it out in the dust already. That's a, a piece that was about an inch and a half that had to get sectioned into there to lengthen the cab front to back when I chopped it. Um, then here's our rear seam um, that butted up down there. From the back, it's pretty evident to see where this all got cut. Uh, the roof was actually in five pieces, I believe. So because the back window was straight up and down uh, for the chop, but the side windows wouldn't be, um, I was able to cut through the middle of the, the window there. And I kept the center section uh, right up in here as one piece. And then each of these corners independently got cut out. And we got a about a three quarter inch wide piece welded up in here. Um, and then in the front, it was cut right down the middle in the front, uh, back to where that splices down in the ribbon across the top. So uh, it doesn't really sit quite even on the cart, so it looks really lopsided at the moment, but it's just the, the whole cab is tipped that way a little bit. So yeah, so hopefully uh, before, hoping by fall, this should be all together and running the the engine and transmission and, and wiring and all that stuff should move pretty quick. It's mainly just getting the cab finished out and sheet metal work, uh, a little more lead filler, and then Bondo primer, all that good stuff. So uh, hoping to get that one up on the road here pretty soon. Um, other fun stuff in the garage. Obviously we showed off Maggie once. This is a nice little Pontiac Tri-Power I've been saving for a lot of years. I got it at an auction thinking it would fit on my uh, 66 GTO which was another thing that my dad had uh, got with me. Um, but this is the early Pontiac Tri-Power, so this is like a 57 to 63 Tri-Power. Uh, so it ends up not fitting any of the motors that I ever mess with. So mostly that's just garage art, fun to look at. Um, something to talk about with buddies. Um, yeah, other than that, a couple cool old signs. I found, found this sign uh, a year or two ago. Um, down at the local old service station that was being torn down and they said I could have it. So that's been living in my garage. I used to have it up in the ceiling rafters, but I tinned all that. So now it doesn't really have a good spot thinking it might end up going out on the outside of the building if I can keep it in a spot that won't fade too much. So um, yeah, that's what I'm working on in my garage right now. Um, like I said, I've got a 66 GTO that looks nothing like this. If this is a 10 foot car, the GTO is a 150 foot car <laughs> as far as looks. So uh, it needs a lot of body work and I'm not a great body man. So that's something that's been getting held off on for quite a while. Um, runs and drives, but uh, needs needs a whole lot of help with uh, from Dynacorn. <laughs> so that and uh, got a 77 Camaro drag car that we, me and a couple buddies are in on together. So that is all the car projects that I can do and they're more than I can afford. So I just work on them as I have time and uh, just been enjoying all my time out here. And again, just uh, go ahead and hit us up on Facebook in the comments below. Uh, show us some of your rides. Show us what you've been up to in the shop. Show us what you've been getting done. Uh, we are still shipping out parts. I've been buying stuff all week for this Firebird. Um, trying to get it on the road here officially. So um, we're going to pick up some new tires tomorrow for it. So thanks for checking in with us. Thanks for using Speedway. Uh, again, comment below. We'll take a look at what you got. Thanks, guys.